Hi everyone, this is Marty with Pezzadoodle Designs and I am here to talk to you about a product from Luminart called Primary Elements Artist Pigment Colors and I want to show you primarily how easy and versatile they are. I think that most people don't understand what they are or may not be familiar with this method of making colors and making paint but Susanna, Susanna's Custom Art and Card Design just got these in and I've been using them for years and I absolutely love them. They're a powder pigment with mica in it. Now you might be familiar with other forms such as Perfect Pearls which is mica only or um, Pearl X which I haven't used personally so I'm not completely sure the perfect pearls has a binder in it these do not but there are tons and tons of colors Let's see if I can get some of the shimmer for you here and I have found that these pack more shimmer than most other products that you'll find now because they don't have a binder it's very simple you just need some gum arabic this is a powder form of gum arabic. I believe you can also get it in a liquid. Either one will work. The liquid, I'm wondering if it's easier, like maybe it can just squirt out of a bottle, but regardless. The powders, you can mix with any sort of medium. Any, any medium will form a binder with the pigments and the mica, and you will have a perfectly good paint that will stay put. If you do not use a binder, the mica will brush off. The color will stay, but the mica will not. So all I do is just take a little bit of the powder, take a, an equal amount of the gum arabic. You can see I don't measure quite exactly. So it's, it's not, you know, don't stress out about that part. Then I'm just going to fill my brush with water and mix it. Now depending on how much water you use you can make a very very thin pale wash you can make a much darker wash and what I have here is a book page where I used a stencil that's also in Susanna's store and I used the Luminart silks on it and then I'm just gonna brush this color over it give my tree trunks a bit of brown and the silks will resist the color so you still get that beautiful shimmer that the silks provide with the dark colors and then you have the lighter wash of the artist pigments that I mixed with water now you can do a lot of other things with these, as I said, they're so versatile because you just mix whatever you want for whatever purpose you need. So now I'm going to make a background piece. You can also use these primary elements without the gum arabic as they are because they have pigment as well as mica you will still get your pigmented watercolor paint just know that your mica will brush off to some degree so I just mix it with water you can control the depth of your color with how much water you use and you can just brush it on and you still get that beautiful color these come in such a wide array of colors so it's just yet another way that you can use these they're so versatile and just almost limitless so I wanted to show you how the pigment will stay just mixed with water no special anything required just know that for staying powder of the micas, they will brush off. Now you could also spray it if you have workable fixative or something like that, and they would stay put. Actually, 
Now you can do a lot of other things with these. As I said, they're so versatile because you just mix whatever you want for whatever purpose you need. So now I'm going to make a background piece. We're going to use cranberry and stargazer and some saran wrap. Very technical. So again, you want to use a little bit of gum arabic. Just put two piles out. And then we'll put our colors out. The nice thing about Luminarts, mica powders, mica paints, all of their products, you get mica that shimmers in colors. It is not simply a color base with silver added. You don't get that heavy silver coating on top of your color. Okay. Again, I just load my brush with water. I want this to be pretty wet. But not necessarily thin. That's why I have kind of a large pile there. And we're just going to randomly brush this on. Okay, get some of the cranberry. Put that on. And I'm just doing this very random, but I want to make sure I don't leave any white. Okay, and then you take your saran wrap, wrinkles are critical, and lay it on the top. And you're going to create a pattern with those wrinkles. Now we're just going to set this aside, let it dry. Another great thing you can do with your powders is you can create shimmering mists. And those are just so incredibly popular. We love our shimmering mists. But this way, you buy your colors once and you have everything you need. You have mists, you have watercolor, you have thicker paint. You really, it's just unlimited. And I love that because I can't afford to buy every color in every form. So I've already mixed these. It's very simple to mix. You fill a mister with water, leave a little space for shaking. And again, equal parts of gum arabic and the artist pigments. And you're ready. So I'm just going to spray this. Some stargazer and fern. And again, the shimmer is just unbelievable. I'm definitely a more is better kind of gal when it comes to shimmer. But what I also love about these is that the color is not overwhelming. Now I can make it darker or I can use a darker color, but often when I use some of the other ready-made mixes, I found that the colors just were just too overpowering. You can mist this over pattern paper and give it a nice shimmer. And you also 
shimmer. You don't have a thick silver coating. Dry it a little bit and get rid of the gloss so you'll see it better. Now how gorgeous is that? Look at that green shimmer. Not a heavy silver coating. Just gorgeous shimmer. Love these. Of course, one of my favorite things is to use stencils with my mists. So this is a stencil from Crafters Workshop. Susanna carries loads of these stencils in her store. Well, one-stop shopping. That's always nice. She's super fast too, which I really appreciate. Patience is not one of my virtues. When you mist, you want to mist from a distance. Mist lightly. Gorgeous. This is Dragonfly Wing that I just misted. An absolute must have. It's got a somewhat two toned effect. But you can see your colors, your shimmer. Nothing's masked by heavy silver. Love these. Now, as I mentioned, my stencil dried off. Love your stencils. Be kind to your stencils. Always wash off your stencils. Okay, so what else can you do with these? You can mix them into a thicker paint consistency. I've got Claudine Helmuth Studio Multimedium. This is the gloss. Got a little chipboard butterfly. This is a little Maya, Maya Road chipboard piece. And I've got some ginger peach primary elements color. Now same principle, but this is a thicker, this is thicker than water. So you're going to get a thicker paint. And sometimes that's good. You might want to wash or wipe off your tool. You can see I didn't do that. No. You mix as much or as little as you want. Again, you buy your color and the shimmering powders. And then you buy a medium, a single medium for whatever you want. So for water, mists, and that sort of thing, you buy gum arabic. Now you have all the colors in watercolor and you have all the colors in a mist. For a thicker paint, you buy this multi-medium or some other similar medium. Susanna carries that in her store, so that makes it easy. You mix it up, and now you have every color of paint. With one purchase, one single item. It doesn't get any more economical than that. Because I don't know about you, but I want all the colors. It doesn't matter what it is. I need them all. So here's Ginger Peach. This is a gorgeous, again, another two-tone sort of an effect. It's orange, it's red, it's shimmering gold, it's, it's crazy. Take my paintbrush, paint it on my little chipboard piece. Now this is a clear gloss medium. So you're going to get a somewhat transparent paint. If you add gesso or something similar to that, your paint will become more opaque, but because they use titanium white as a base, it's also going to lighten your color, so keep that in mind. But you can always just go over with a second coat. Very simple. And yes, I paint my fingers and I don't worry about it because it's what I do for a living, so. 
Here's your butterfly. Catch that shimmer. Now once this dries, you can stamp on it. I've got a cool you can find at Susanna's store. Okay, so what else can we do with this? Show you a little background technique real quick. For anyone that might like to do any art journaling and that sort of thing, this is really cool, but you can easily just use it on your cards. Make your own pattern papers. Make it whatever color you want. Make it anything you want. The versatility is what's so key here. So we're going to make some apple blossom paint now. This is a gorgeous pink. Let's get some multi-medium. Mix it up. And if you're worried that it's time consuming, oh, I don't want to mix up my own paint. It's not. I mean, you can see how quick and easy this is. You know, it's not hard. It's not complicated. You don't have special tools or anything like that. So now we have this gorgeous pink color, and this is my other technical tool. I'm pretty sure that I took this out of my husband's garage, and I think it's for speckling. I'm not really sure, but it's mine now. Okay, so I'm just going to take this. Now, you can also use a credit card. Many of you might have seen this technique using a credit card, and I'm just going to kind of slide some paint on here. Let's put your darker color on next. Keep a towel handy. I did not go out and buy special towels. No, no, no. Think of what room you would like to redo. Bathroom, kitchen. And then take those towels and cut them up. And oh, you gotta go buy new ones. Sorry, honey. So we just have just this random streaky kind of thing going on. With shimmer. Everything's better with shimmer, right? I mean, seriously. This makes a great foundation for stamping on top of um, any kind of background stamps, or you can just use it as is. And it shimmers. And you made it yourself, and you did it in whatever color you want. That's what's key here. The versatility, saving money, it's awesome. So you guys head over to Susanna's. Check out all the gorgeous shimmering colors she has in stock now. And play with them, experiment with them, have fun with them. And if you have any... One final thing I want to mention about these primary elements is that you have several colors of pure mica. That means there's no color-based pigments in these. They're just pure sparkle. You can get this in solar gold, you can get bronze, and you can get pewter. And what you can do with these is just add some sparkle and shimmer to something without changing its color. So I've got some equal amounts of gum arabic and some bronze. Now you need to use your gum arabic or some other binder with this, with these because they're only mica. So if you don't have a binder, it'll just brush right back off. And I've got this pattern paper. So I'm going to go over it. And now I have added some bronze sparkle on top of it.
and that just gives you another option it's a little streaky now you can mix this up in a mister and you will not have the brush strokes you can thin it out And again you can see I just add some water in my brush and I can re-wet them work with them until it looks like I want it to look and so that's just another option you have with some of the primary elements that are available at Susanna's store so be sure and check those out they're a nice way to add some shimmer to any of your any items you're using you can brush it over your fairy wings for example after you've colored them in you can brush it over a background that you've done yourself lots of ways to use these you can also add these mica powders mica only to your silks to give them a little extra pizzazz so I've got pink azalea here first I'll go in with the pink azalea by itself so you can get a little comparison now over here I've got a little pile of the glare you can't really see that I've put a little bit of the solar gold down and I will get a little pink azalea and mix those up you may need to add a little water and this just gives that shimmering pink azalea a little bit of additional gold shimmer which really makes it even more dimensionally shimmery just gives it another layer of shimmer in addition to that pink shimmer or whatever color you mix it into you're going to get the gold as well so have fun playing with these new products they're amazing everybody needs some I can't imagine doing something without them. Why go plain when you can go so, so shimmery?